Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, I will show you how to reverse a number using JavaScript. In this tutorial, we're gonna take two program to reverse a number with using split, reverse and join method and without using these predefined methods. So we will create two functions here. So in the first function, we are using these three methods to reverse a number, right? And in the second function, without using these three methods, we will reverse number, right? Now suppose if you got an assignment to reverse a number without using split, reverse and join method, in that situation, the second program will definitely help you, right? So we will first create a first this program. So I will using split, reverse and join method and show you how to reverse a number. So before we start this video, make sure you press the subscribe button if you haven't and press the bell icon to get notified of my every new video and also press the like button if you find anything useful so let's get started so i will first create a function here to reverse a number so i will just say function and name this function reverse number so i will just say num here and in the parenthesis i will specify n so this is my argument right and just after that i will use this argument so i will say n is equal to n plus double quote right so i will just specify blank space to the number just after that i will create a variable here so i will say let num is equal to and just say here n i will just call this argument dot call my split method right and specify double quote here so using this method using the split method we are going to split a string into an array of substring and return new array right and just after that using chaining system i will call the reverse method right so reverse method is used reverse an array in the place right so the split method will return a new array and the reverse method will reverse this array right just after that i will call join method also so this join method will join all element of array into string so using this chaining system we will return a reverse number to this variable and we'll just gonna return this using return keyword right and just after that here i will just call this function so i will just say console.log and say reverse number and specify your number in the parenthesis so i will just say here one two three four five so when you execute this so you will get your string array on the console right to remove this comma we need to use double quote here so I will just say double quote here, right? So when you execute this, you will get your reverse number. 54321. Right? Now, let's move on to the next question and create the same program without using these three methods. Right? So here, I will just create a function. So I will say function reverse function. Right? And specify num argument here and just after that I will create a variable here so I will select n is equal to number now I just wanted to convert this number and return to the n variable so I will just say dot here and call to string method All right so this method will convert this number to string and store in the n variable just after that i will create a blank array here so i will just say constant number and specified square bracket here and create str string here right and i will specify blank string here right just after that i will create for loop here to reverse this number right so i will just say for and in the bracket i will say let i is equal to 
and here I will specify n so the n is this variable so I will just specify n this is my string dot length right so the i value is equal to the n length now because the array start from the zero you need to minus one from this length so i'll say minus one right and just after that in the condition i will say i is greater than or equal to zero and specify i minus minus right and in this for loop i will just say number i will just call my array is equal to n and in the bracket i will say i right so in the n variable we have string number and we will return this number to the array one by one so i will say i here right and just return this to the console so i will just say number here so i will just say console.log here and call the reverse function and in the parenthesis i will specify one two three four and when we execute this you will get your number one two three four right this is your number now we just wanted to reverse this number first now to reverse this number we are going to declare another variable here right so i will just say k is equal to zero so we're gonna start this k from zero because we have i from the length of the nth variable so we're going to create k variable from zero to reverse this number and i just wanted to increase this value of the k variable using incremental operator right and i will just use k in the number index right here so whenever the string return the character to the array we will store this character on the zero index and so on right so i will just execute this again oops i think i forgot something oops i forgot here a comma here right so you will get your reverse number in the array right now i just wanted to store this array into str variable this one so to do that we have concatenation right so i will just here write str is equal to str plus your number array variable so i will just say number and specify k variable here right and here i just wanted to return str right so this is your reverse number so when you specify here 5 4 3 2 1 this will return reverse number 1 2 3 4 5 right this is very simple and if you wanted to convert this string into number you can use pass int method like this so i will just say pass int and execute this so now this string is converted into number right so now you will get your number on the console it's very simple i hope you understand both questions clearly if you find anything useful in this tutorial then must press the like button don't forget to subscribe this channel we'll see you in the next tutorial